Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to find the center of rotation. Okay, the question reads, on the set of axes below, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Triangle ABC maps onto A prime, B prime, C prime after. So we have four choices here. Is it a reflection over Y equals X negative X, a reflection over Y equals negative X plus two, a rotation over 180 degrees centered at 1, 1, or a rotation of 180 centered at the origin. All right, so um, <clears throat> in order for us to get started, we're going to carry out some eliminations here just based on the key difference between rotation and reflection transformations, okay? So something to keep in mind is that when you have a reflection, the orientation is not preserved, all right? On the other hand, if you have a rotation, the orientation is preserved. So let's go ahead and write, note down that important fact. Something to note is that reflections, reflections do not preserve the orientation. Okay, but on the other hand, rotations do. So if you think about looking at the mirror, your right hand in the real world and your right hand in the mirror, then like different orientations, different positions, right? So another way to look at it is just look at the vertices, okay? And look at the orientation of the letters. So here we're going around the triangle, okay? So if you go from A to C to B, for example, A to C to B, from A to C to B, it's uh, the orientation is um, counterclockwise, okay? So from A to C to B, it's a counterclockwise orientation. Now, if you take a look at the image and go from A prime to C prime to B prime, is it going to be counterclockwise just like the original or is it clockwise? That's what orientation is. So let's take a look at it. So we go from A prime to C prime to B prime, what's the orientation you're going counterclockwise too so this one is counterclockwise and this is counterclockwise if you're looking at uh, the uh, corresponding letters so that basically helps you see that this transformation is um orientation is preserved in this transformation okay all right so if orientation is preserved here uh so let's write it same orientation our orientation is preserved. Now we can carry out some eliminations here. All right. So if you take a look at options one and two, both of them are reflections. If you carry out a reflection, you're going to notice that there's a switch in the orientation. The original will be counterclockwise from AC to B, but if you have a reflection, it's going to become clockwise. Okay. All right, so one and two are automatically eliminated. We cannot have one or two. Why is that the case? Well, it is because um, these two are not possible. Not possible. Since the orientation is preserved. Okay, since orientation is preserved. Remember orientation is not preserved when you have um, reflections. All right, since orientation is preserved, this transformation cannot be a reflection, okay? So it's either gonna be option three and up or option four, one of these two. All right, so is this rotation centered around one one or centered around the origin? If you look at the asymmetry here, you can automatically see that, see that it can't be the origin, if it were the origin, it would be equal distances right to this side right here. You can see that this is longer, right? And this is short. Uh, so just by observation, you can automatically see that the answer is um, option three because it's not symmetric with respect to the center, all right? But there's another way we can do this for sure to find, let's say, we, let's say you had a question where your task was to find what the, um, what the center 
of the rotation is um, you're not asked to do that here because we can answer it without finding it but if, if that were the case now how would you go about finding the center all you just do is you just connect corresponding uh, vertices and then you know exactly what the center is all right so a prime goes to a or a is mapped to a prime alrighty and then uh, B B is mapped to B prime like that bam all right you automatically see see where the center of rotation is let's do one more Uno mas. let's um, map C prime to C or C to C prime it doesn't matter these are corresponding sides okay bam you see where the three lines intersect well that ladies and gentlemen is the center of rotation so the center of rotation right here all right so what did we just do let's write down what we just did right here the strategy was basically to uh, connect connect uh, corresponding vertices and the uh, and the point of intersection the, po the point of intersection of the lines is the center of rotation all right so that's just what we did um, in verbal format all right so we can clearly see if only just applying this procedure that we just executed we can see that the center of rotation center of rotation is one one okay so that's option three so two things to keep in mind number one reflections do not preserve orientation rotations do okay here we have a clockwise a uh, you can either think about it clockwise or kind of clockwise however you want to look at it rotations do rotations preserve orientation and another thing to keep in mind is that when you co connect corresponding vertices for a rotation transformation the intersection of the segments connecting corresponding vertices is will tell you the center so this right here that's one one bam bam that is the center of rotation so we know for sure that the answer is option number three Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate you visiting our site. Don't forget to help support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found at mathcoserve.com. Do check it out. If you have any questions or comments, or want to let us know what you think about the presentation or your day in general, just specify it in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.